Here at the Paris Air Show, it's not all just about commercial aircraft. It's about defense equipment, and a lot of it. This is the Raytheon Pavilion, and this American defense contractor focuses on simulators and visual displays. So Raytheon is really proud to present our 4D simulator. Uh, what this does is demonstrate kind of a difference. Uh, pilots typically would rely solely on sight. Uh, what this provides is a full tech sensory Im immersion. But you've got to be really careful about sensory overload, don't you? Because I mean, you could give them a whole bunch of information, right. but if it's too much information, to me, it would just... So that's the beauty of the system. It, this simulator provides you is this 3D audio. So not only do you see where the target's coming from, you also hear it. So it's not just hearing it, but hearing it in the sense that I know it's to the behind me to the right, right in front of me to the left. So a pilot who is right. flying into battle now is in a very dangerous environment. He or she gets an, a target indication. That person would hear where it is coming from. Well, I'm not a pilot, but I want to give it a shot. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's that first launch. Okay. Yep, I've got a visual display in here, and I can hear it sort of back here. All right, so it's, it's actually coming. It's a little bit behind you. Yeah. So if you looked around and turned around to look, you'll actually see that target there. Another indication would be uh, the second one here. Yeah, much over here. So right, I turn so my head. And, you yep. then, and then you see where it's coming from. And then from. there's the red. Exactly. So now all of a sudden, instead of wondering where it's coming from, mm -hmm. you now get both a visual and an audio cue of where their target is. Kind of greatly Im improves yep. the situational awareness of the pilot. Because when you see films, and it may not be the right, but that's... My indication of films, you always see the pilot going around like this, right, wondering what's going on. Exactly. Right. So instead of now concentrating on flying, yeah. that in that original view, right, the pilot's always kind of looking around. He can rely on that, that visual and audio cues, mm -hmm. so then he, can, he or she can focus on the job at hand, which might be targeting a, a hostile. And you've had some pilots come and test this? Absolutely. They've uh, had, a, had a number of pilots come here and test, uh, including general officers, and they've yeah. been nothing less than impressed with, with what this provides for situational awareness, and does so in, in a way that is cost-effective. That's, that's what's so very exciting right. about this. Because you could, you could probably do a lot more if uh, someone's willing to pay for it, but there's a point to where it's too expensive. I will tell you that the system that we've created here is is cost effective. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much training. I mean, if you're already a, a, a fighter pilot, then it's it's more about just learning the little bits of the, the right. hearing and the. I mean, how quickly did you just get yeah. for the first yeah. time the indication? You automatically looked towards where you saw that target. But maybe to from. me that seems obvious that that should have been built in 15 years ago. I mean, it's not. And so what we're about is the uh, looking at the possible what possibilities are out there.